guys, what? Xanthi Corey here, and uh, this is lesson two of C++. Uh, if you haven't watched my last tutorial, go watch it because you're not gonna understand how to do uh, C out. Actually, you probably will because it's very, very self-explanatory. But uh, now we're gonna do uh, CN, which is another very simple concept to understand, and uh, it's pretty much the next thing you learn right through the book. I have about four or five C++ books, just because stupid school. Uh, so the, today I'm going to show you um, how to use a little bit of user interface. I don't know if that's the right word, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is um, de define something. So we're pretty much going to do int, and then we're going to call it inumber. Now, when said user enters... Um, you know, you'll see. You, you understand why I have to type it. And that with a semicolon. Now I'll type C out and the two little things, like in the last tutorial. Um, enter a number. You don't have to capitalize every word. It's just a nasty habit of mine to capitalize every word. I don't know why. Alright, and then C in. Alright, now the next thing that the user inputs is going to be I number. So we want to type I number in that right there. Oops, I almost forgot my ENDL. How could it? You don't have to do this every time, it just ends the line. It keeps the script a lot cleaner and it makes me happier. Now, with a CN, you don't have to do that um, because it's really not going to screw anything up. Okay, now our next C out is going to output the number. Very simple. Okay, so it's going to output what we put in. So we're going to say your number was and we're going to put two more of those things oopsie I forgot to end it I'm going to put two more of those things we're going to call it I number two more arrows and we will do ENDL and that and why is that a space sorry about that okay so that should do it for that program we save it and we execute it and yes I will go back to explain this once I screw up why isn't it linking so fast Okay, there it goes. Come on, speed up. Alright, enter a number. Let's enter 12. Your number was 12. And you can see it wasn't 12 was put together. You can correct that by putting a space right there. So we'll save that file, save, execute, compile and run. Twelve. Your number was twelve. Always end with a period if you wish. No no, that's not gonna okay. Um, now, say they were to, I should have left this up, well I really couldn't, say you want to enter a number like 12.5, well it still says your number was 12, it didn't really understand that you were trying to enter 12.5 because you did not clarify it was double numbers. So where we put INT, put double, alright, and you know where I put I, that was basically for no reason. I just put variables, not variables, that wasn't, I just put things in front of them, yeah, variables. You just put variables in front of them just for no reason. I don't really know why, I just do. You could let this as number and it still would have worked just fine. Alright, so when we're doing double, you put D number and it's always safe to do this because you never know what the user is going to want to enter. You change all of them to D number, D number. Hmm. Alright, and you file, you save it, and you compile and run. Now let's enter 12.55. It says your number was 12.5. Easy as pie, if you will. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, once again, I'm going, to, I'm going to explain this so we all clarify, go back a little bit, just because I'm trying to burn time, really. Um, we start out with all this um, was the main already the main include files all the libraries all that crap um, and this is the main body of the script we opened up with this um, our opening bracket and we did our we clarified our number um, and we started the script we outputted to enter a number to the user and we ended the line and then um, when the user inputted what's done something is done in my Visual Studios, um, and then when something's inputted, that becomes the D number, which 
tells us that yes, the number is now clarified and you know what to do with it. And then we outputted your number was the number, which goes back up to here and says that the number was what user inputted from right here. And then we ended the line and then we paused it so it stayed open. And then we just returned. And that was that. I hope that explained it. Well, if it, if it made, made you more confused, just ignore what I said and accept the fact that it works like that. Because that's how C plus works. It's a it's an easy con concept to understand in the beginning, but then it gets harder and harder, and then it doesn't become as much fun to make little stupid programs that you can send to your friends, little AI programs that you make. Um, I don't know what I'm doing in the next tutorial yet. I really don't have this planned, really. I'm just kind of shooting the breeze. Um, so that's it for that. I'm trying to give you guys time to copy this down if you didn't have enough time to do it or didn't understand it when I was typing it. But the whole idea is for you to understand this so you can be like, oh, I understand this, so I can do this and this and go off, write your own programs. That's really what I'm trying to get with this, where you can understand the concept. It's all about concept understanding, really. So uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial. This is Exanticory. Where's my recorder? Signing out.